Okay guys, this is a bit of an update and overview of where we're at in uh, two and, and a bit weeks of uh, of me actually getting off my butt and doing something here. And uh, I, uh, I'm going to run over some of the uh, 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 current uh, state of affairs as far as the um, as a player uh, model uh, situation goes as far as animation is. Uh, one of the nice things about uh, Unreal 4, of course, is the fact that it uh, uses root motion, which means that uh, I control exactly how fast or where a player can move. Uh, <clears throat> that's the speed, relative speed within the map. So that's a good thing because it's not something that doesn't have to be coded in. It's already done as far as uh, direction and movement goes. So uh, whatever the animation has uh, been created, that's where the player will go based on the direction of its root. That's why they call it root motion. So uh, a wall climb, for example, uh, if I just make the character climbing up a wall, it will continue to climb up the wall, so to speak, as long as uh, we can offset gravitational forces, of course. Um, <clears throat> So there's a lot of a lot of interesting things that we can do uh, just by uh, binding, you know, putting in the animation, uh, telling uh, Unreal 4 that it's using root, and uh, you push a button, and that's how it goes. Um, so uh, things like speed, uh, we can scale up and down the speed, make it faster, slower, uh, change the timing. Uh, uh, a lot of that stuff is just done at, in due course, uh, <laughs> probably out of boredom. So uh, moving forward here. Um, uh, I also picked up uh, and making a donation of this, the backpacks that were up on the marketplace that to, to solves our, uh, our problem and need for uh, for med kits and stuff like that. So there's a couple of different kind of colors and what have you. There's like red and blue, of course, and then there's uh, this uh, this one here, which is cameo and uh, which is probably suitable for like uh, bomb mode or something like that. Uh, and uh, 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 with uh, FBX uh, export in uh, Unreal 4, it wouldn't be too much difficult to uh, be able to export it. <clears throat> so, uh, moving on, uh, you can see that uh, I got a couple of red lines that are coming off the feet there, which is an indication that I have ray tracing going on as far as uh, foot control goes. So, um, uh, that's going to need a fair amount of work still. Uh, uh, there's, uh, because of the root motion, um, it tends to pull the uh, the um, the capsule that uh, that the player is actually in for uh, collision detection purposes uh, it tends to pull it down towards the ground as well as uh, it doesn't compensate yet for uh, overall height of the uh, torso as compared to the position of the feet so uh, it tends to want to pull <laughs> the foot down without pulling the rest of the body down so that needs a lot of fair amount of work too um, but uh, I have that uh, obviously uh, set up so uh, uh, in, in a way that uh, the tracing is actually occurring so it's actually generating a value and I can figure it out afterwards after the fact of how to make it look good um, uh, I have uh, 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 let's see I have a two bone IK on the hand so eventually the character I'll just kind of turn it over to the side here a bit oh, let's get in and uh, but the hands are kind of floaty right now and it, I don't quite can't quite figure out where that is uh, where that is uh, being a problem because it should uh, the weapon should be more or less glued to the player model so I'm not sure if there's an issue with the rigging or if it's uh, just how the uh, player model is interpolated in uh, once it's in the scene if I take a look at this idol in the uh, in the persona then uh, it's rock solid it's, it's holding that weapon like uh, like uh, like it's supposed to be but unfortunately it's kind of floaty right now but uh you know we're only two and a half weeks in so, or, uh, in, so uh it's uh it's going to go on the back burner for now in in um in exchange for uh getting the uh, basic uh, movement system done uh, you know i'll live with the with the uh, uh, poor hand holding for now as compared to the uh, volume of stuff that has to get done so where are we at okay so uh, uh as you can see the player model does sort of you know can aim left and right up and down uh i added a turn so when we get to about 90 degrees on angle and that should be right about here the player will swing around to the opposite end uh, I still have some uh, fine-tuning to do as far as the direction of the weapon uh, lands up because it, it does stay at 90. So when I turn it, it sticks at 90 on the opposite end so we can pull it back up, around a bit. Um, <clears throat> 
this will be a little this concerning for the player obviously if we're going to go with the uh, with a 2.5 perspective but from a first person sp perspective they'll continue to do uh, a, a 360 uh, or a 360 degree turn without any hitch in the uh, in the viewing this is just uh, obviously the third third person and uh, this is uh, I think a lot more nicer to be able to turn as the character rather than You know, having that uh, having that turntable type of effect. So uh, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. Uh, I got uh, the firing going. Of course, that's additive. So you know, you keep turning and you keep firing. So that's worked out pretty good. <laughs> I kind of lose lose my spot of where I am. So uh, that's uh, kind of uh, covers the aiming aspect of it. Uh, that would even fine tuning too as well. You know, if somebody's using a scope, we don't want them twisting like that. Uh, so if they're scoping and they're, they're looking around, uh, they have a already have a, a 180 degree uh, kill zone <laughs> between left and right. Uh, I can put in uh, put in a shorter duration turn, so it just does uh, it does uh, a, 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 like a 45 degree turn instead of a, a 180. So uh, we'll f fine tune that as we go along. Uh, forward movement wise. Um, oops. Let me get back to my. Okay, forward movement wise, of course, we have run back forward. Um, <clears throat> this all is interpolating inside the blend space, but uh, the, the thing I don't really like about it at the moment is it's either a plus or minus uh, value based on the keyboard in input. So if we're running along, you can see forward movement is plus one. If we move backwards, that's minus one. So that corresponds with the with the keyboard. But what it doesn't do is, um, and then of course, if if we're not moving, it zeroes out. So um, uh, there's some fine tuning still have to be done here, which isn't too too difficult to do, as far as adding in an adjustment clip to the uh, to the uh, to the blend space in the anim graph. But uh, uh, what I want to be able to do is to have the actual player be able to run the um, the uh, blend space. Uh, well, the blend space basically think of it as a two-dimensional um, two-dimensional uh, game of battleship, where you have a grid laid out, and you have uh, on those grids you can place various dis different uh, elements of the animation onto it, and then it'll go once once it uh, once it goes from one end to the other, it then uh, interpolates uh, from one extreme to to the next. So as I said, there's uh, minus, there's plus, and at idle this is zero. So if we can, uh, I'm going to build a black box that's going to you know interpolate through the anim graph so uh, we can put uh, some dis proper displacements and so forth. So if we're running right and then we switch to running, we're running right and we switch to running left, there'll be a, a, a shift in body weight appropriately for that direction change. But uh, uh, it's actually working pretty darn good now. I think we're way ahead of the game where we're actually at a 4.1. Okay, so uh, moving on. Um, uh, reload. Okay, so that uh, reload takes place you run in and we have crouch and you got reload when you're crouching and then if we uh, uncrouch and we're, we're running we can switch to walk and if we want we can sprint back to walk sprint back to walk okay and then we got equip And uh, what else did I do here? I gotta look at my buttons here. Okay, we're going back to run. Um, anything else fancy? Uh, <laughs> you know, probably for probably forgot. Oh, um, yeah, the, the one big thing. Um, there's going to be two modes of uh, running. There's going to be your traditional run and strafe, where you, where the camera is locked onto the POV, and uh, you can still you can still pitch up and down for your aim as you move forward and of course you can strafe so you have uh, let's call it strafe targeting and then of course when you rotate around it will rotate around with the yaw of the camera the other uh, option it will be uh, alt tracking which means that uh, you, as you move forward you can aim within the kill zone at, at a 180 degree uh, arc 
from the running position. You can't turn while running, see? I got that locked off at the moment. So I don't want this kind of thing when you're running. <laughs> so it wouldn't be too good. But we'll be locking that off and then if you say for example you'd be having your, your atypical strafe move and then you want to be able to uh, to uh, while running uh, <coughs> you want to be able to target alt target within while running in a particular direction so you'll be locked forward you hit alt whatever you have like uh, 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 a right mouse button or whatever and then that puts you into uh, into this where you can still strafe left and right forwards and backs but you cannot change uh, your the, your overall direction like you can't really turn around and what have you uh, from here um, I'm going to take it a little bit step further I think uh, since uh, uh, root motion does dictate the direction and speed uh, there'll be uh, an option where where the player is say if they're running it using alt aiming if they want to stay with alt aiming but they want to head off into a different direction you'll be able to go boom press another button and you're doing a 180 <laughs> that's funny I'll have to figure out think about how if I want to really do a, a strafe backwards or, or a sprint backwards I only have to sprint forward I uh, haven't done the jumpings just yet uh, I'm going to take a little bit of time to figure that one out um, I know how I would like to do it uh, and, uh, <coughs> and still look half decent um, I'm thinking uh, two-handed run. They can jump left and right. And with one-handed, they can only jump uh, off of their left, off of their right, to into their left. But uh, I have to uh, uh, consider that as part of the overall plan. Because uh, for one thing, if we're, for example, we're running up some stairs and we're going to, uh, whoops, and we're going to fall off of it, there's going to be kind of a, it's going to be kind of a jump off of that. So uh, you know, if we're coming from a height. I don't like this leggy kind of thing where, you know, let's see if I can get it done. You can see how the left the left foot is off the edge there. So if the left foot goes off the edge, then an event has to occur. Like, I, you know, I, we want to have uh, things a little bit more accurate if the, if the player is going to, you know, be dumb enough to put their foot over the ledge or we corrective, have some sort of corrective pose for when they're at the ledge because, well, let's see they're standing on the edge like this looking down you know they'll actually have to be standing back a little bit further from the ledge so we're going to have to have kind of a uh 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 you know uh, a different idle pose for for scoping if they're using uh like uh they're aiming downwards probably have to change that a bit uh, either that or we're going to have to have some rather low ledges or clip right into the ledge in, so that the player can get into the into that position or they can turn sideways we can have like a a, a, a 360 kind of turn you know if they turn sideways towards the wall the, then their feet hopefully will line up it, with it well we can figure that out as we go along but uh, I figure uh, you know we're, we're doing pretty darn good with uh, a couple of weeks in and uh, uh, it's uh, going to be pretty impressive by the time we're done.